what, what we can measure on planet Earth. It's, it's hard, man. I, I'm not entirely sure. If we're talking about the cosmos, I think it's hard to assume from a religious book that everything is made because it's said in a religious book. So we just we're, follow we're not, that. We're not dealing with religion at the moment. We're just dealing with logic and common sense. Yeah, so the premise or the thing that we're trying to discuss here is anything that's created does it have a beginning? Yeah, so when it comes to human beings, you have a beginning. Yeah. Animals, beginning. Trees, beginning. Yeah. You know, clouds, beginning. Yeah. Even when we create, when, when we assemble something, because we don't technically create it, it has a beginning. Mm. Yeah. So when, when I ask you, is there anything that doesn't have a beginning? Because you said, I disagree with that. So for I, you I, to. I don't know. I don't, wouldn't say I disagree 100%. I don't know. All right, so when you, the thing, sorry, what's your name? Shane. Shane, yeah. yeah. So Shane, the thing is, when it comes to God, you're saying you're unsure? Or you're, I'm, I'm, yeah, as, you're, as, you're unsure. I, I'm a cultural Christian, but I would class myself as agnostic. All right, let's go to the bare bones then, yeah? yeah? Because just the cause or everything having a beginning seems to rub you off the wrong way, yeah? Yes. No problem. What's, what's I'm the, here to learn. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Let's stick with something very basic then, yeah? yeah? Are, you, are you aware of Descartes? Yeah, so Descartes said, I think, therefore I am. Yeah, Descartes is very famous. So he stripped away the five senses, and he stripped away There's everything. A, a lot of people, you know, I just wanted a one-to-one. -one. No problem, no problem. They, they, you've got nothing to worry about. Wow. I, I give you my assurance. Wow. Just be honest, just be yourself. They just, they just want to hear um, a, a, a good rational discussion. I think this will be good to show the people that two people can have a good conversation without the needing to push something down someone's okay, throat. Yeah, fair enough. So I think it will be a good example. So he said, I think, therefore I am. So he said that, okay, when it comes to your eyesight, there can be doubt. When it comes yeah, yeah. to other things, there can yeah, yeah. be doubt. Yeah. But then Nietzsche, Frederick Nietzsche, who promulgates or promotes this idea of nihilism yeah, yeah. he said I disagree with that yeah. I think what is what is I yeah yeah you can't even be sure about the self like you keep saying I don't know I don't know no. then okay we can agree on something that's absolutely fundamental yeah yeah, yeah? which is existence you can't deny existence correct no. no so everybody even if you're unsure about your senses you accept that there is existence yeah yeah all right, brilliant. Now, would you also say that there has to be uniformity? Yeah. There has to be regularity and stability in nature. The ab that this is an absolute fact. There has to be. Yeah. Because if there isn't uniformity, stability and regularity, we can't do science. Mm. We can't come out. Yeah. Yeah. For example, if I take, if I take my watch and I hold it up, What's to stop it from exploding? Well, Obviously, it, yeah. I can be comfortable yeah. that the laws of nature are uniform, yeah. Yeah. regular and yeah, stable, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So number one, we acknowledge that there is existence. Yeah. yeah, that's something. Number two, we acknowledge about the uniformity, stability and regularity of nature. These are the two premise. Yeah, yeah. Then I will then conclude that there then needs to be an existence. Yeah. There needs to be a existence that explains the uniformity, regularity and stability of nature. Doesn't that then follow? You're talking about a creator. I'm saying, doesn't there then need to be an existence that follows on from there? Because we, we don't deny our existence. We don't deny about the regularity, the uniformity and the stability of nature. So then it follows that if there's existence and all those three things apply to nature, then there needs to be an existence yeah, yeah. which then explains that. Yeah. 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 That's God. Yeah. I mean, if you explain it in that sense, yeah. That's because you know what that is, my friend? That is called a logical syllogism. Yeah. So. People that study logic, yeah. that's what you do. For example, this this individual here hates all people with the Nike bag. 
Oh, I've got Under Armour, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This brother has a Nike bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, he hates him. Yeah, yeah. You see, yeah. it's a very simple A, B, C process. Yeah. So now we've acknowledged that we've taken the two very <laughs> basic principles yeah. of existence and regularity of nature, which we can't deny and you can't say, I don't know. Because the fact that you're here proves that you're existing here yeah, yeah. and that nature is stable. Yeah. So there has to be somebody, yeah, and intelligence. And that leads that onto a whole different... But that's, that's good because now what you are, my friend, so Shane, isn't it? Yeah. Now you are what they call a deist, yeah, which you acknowledge that there is a creator, there is intelligence, but you just don't know what it is, which is a step up because before you weren't sure. You said there could be, there couldn't be. Yeah, I mean, like I say, I still, it's, yeah, it's hard to describe. But that's the thing, Shane. There's one thing that we need to rest on here, yeah, yeah. which whether we accept, we can't really deny this point that everybody has one type of knowledge yeah, yeah. and that's logic, that's common sense, rationality. Yeah. But that and is subjective because there would be an atheist that would then say to you, it's not, it's not, to believe in a God is BS for whatever reason and they would give you a list of reasons. So that could be, you know, subjective. But then, but then we will, no, but I'm talking about common logic. Sense. No, I'm talking about logic. No, I didn't say common sense. Logic, because logic follows a framework. Yeah. It's taught in universities. It's a subject in its own right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see? Yeah, yeah. So when we're dealing with logic, Shane, and yeah. we've come to a conclusion, we, we should be intellectually honest with ourselves. That like, you know what? A, B, C. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So let's just say we do acknowledge that there is a creator. Yeah. Yeah. That there is intelligence. Yeah. Now, when we look at everything that's around us, yeah. Would you say that a shop can function without a shopkeeper? No. Can a ship yeah. sail without a sailor? Depends in the future. But as, as of this moment, no. No, but when you say depends in the future, elaborate. Technology is, is going at such a speed where that could be a possibility. But as of this moment, no. Enlighten us. Like how would that ship be able to sail without a sailor? Dude, there's like cars that is coming into into production where you don't, you don't drive them. Did you hear what happened yesterday with the Tesla? No, I didn't. Tell me. Yeah, it was in self-driving uh, mode and it crashed into multiple vehicles. I just thought I'd just put that out there. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah? Okay, fair enough. point yeah. that I'm trying to say, my friend, is it proves that nothing can replace intelligence. Yeah. That's why they call it artificial intelligence. That's yeah. what you're alluding to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not intelligence, it's artificial intelligence. Yeah. And it requires intelligence in itself. Yeah? yeah. So let's let's deal with common sense. Let's, let's deal with common sense at this moment in time, which is you've acknowledged that a ship can't sail without a sailor, isn't it? As of this moment, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would even argue in the future as well that to leave a ship to completely sail by itself yeah. I think that would be irrational. Well, maybe will... in a hundred years, that might be a reality. But as of this moment, I agree with you. They can't. But I mean, you know, when we say in a hundred years, yeah. in a hundred years, you know what I'm saying, we can lead to absurdities because we're uncertain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, Shane, everybody has to die. Everybody's here for a limited period of time. Yeah. And this question of why is very important. Yeah, when it comes to everything else, we don't go to work and say, maybe my boss might come and elbow me in the nose. Yeah, he might come and give me a wedgie, an atomic wedgie. Yeah, he might just start sticking a banana up my nose. There's all sorts of possibilities. It depends yeah, yeah. on certain bosses. Yeah, yeah. They're a bit, you know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. No, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah, so I'm saying, look, we deal with the rational. We deal with what we know because with certain things at the start, you said, I don't know. So if a ship can't sail without a sailor, a shop can't operate yeah. or a shop can't function without a shopkeeper. Yeah. yeah, a classroom. You remember when you were in school, Shane, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah? When, you, when the teacher left the class. Yeah. Tell me what happened. <laughs> the kids, yeah. they regressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they went down yeah. the evolutionary uh, model <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and they turned back into <laughs> chips. Yeah, and everything starts going, they start going nuts. Yeah. yeah? So, <laughs> because I'm a teacher myself, I know how it is. Oh, okay, as soon enough. as I'm leaving the class, I hear them like, Sir's God, Sir's God. And as I'm approaching, Sir's coming, Sir's coming. 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the point, my friend, is with all the complexities and the ecosystems, yeah. yeah, when we look at the complexities of life, it's undeniable, yeah, to, to, and it's irrational to assume that it operates, Sorry. it yeah. operates without an operator. Would you agree with that on a rational level? Um, we're talking about God. Yeah. Um, we're talking on a rational level. Can it operate without an operator? Um, no. It can't. Very good, Shane. You're being intellectually honest. Yeah. So then we go on to the points that you're saying. Yeah. You're saying, okay, all right. I've acknowledged that there has to be an intelligence. There has to be a creator. I do not believe that this all came by accident. Yeah. Excellent. Now we go on to, okay, if there is a creator, yeah. yeah, you remember from Big Bang, we had time, space. That's what scientists tell us that that's yeah, how yeah, it started. Yeah. yeah. Some scientists. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense that the creator has to be outside of time and space. Yeah. 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 Because if he is inside time and space, it then necessitates that he is subject to the laws of science, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he is, as they say, contingent. Yeah, that he can cease to exist. Would you think that God can cease to exist? Um, if he's orchestrated everything, created everything, can he then cease to exist? If that narrative exist? is true, then no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So for God, yeah. it makes sense that he is powerful. Of course. Yeah, yeah. he's created everything. Yeah. He is all intelligent because yeah. we see that even in even in creation as well, isn't it? Yeah. So it makes sense that there is a intelligence, yeah. and that intelligence is ever living, is yeah. outside time and space. Yep. He is not rash. He is not necessarily understood yep. by us. And that would you be content with calling him? It's a title of God. Yeah. Um, right. Obviously, you're, Sorry? Jazakallah, Jazakallah. you're talking about it from an Islamic point of view, correct? I, at the moment, I'm just speaking from a rational point okay. of view. Um, we'll, we'll get to the Islamic thing and you can tell me anything that you have an issue with, no problem. Not, not an issue, it's just a con more of a concern and more to learn more. Yes, you know? yes, of course. Um, I don't disagree with anything you're saying at this moment in time. No. Excellent. So then, Shane, would it would it make sense? You see, he's very happy as well. Yeah, very happy. Yes, very good. So, would it make sense, Shane, with how I've described this intelligence, yeah. that it makes sense that there is only one? Because if there were multiple, ah. then, yeah. yeah, then, but here's, here's where rationality kicks in, Shane. Because we're saying he is the all-powerful. Yeah. Yeah? He is the creator of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is the first. You can't have two firsts. You can't have two people that finish first in a race. Yeah. yeah? You call it a draw, but again, you don't. It, it, there will be still, you check the camera and you're like, that person edged it by one tenth of a second. Yeah. That's what they do in Formula One, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's Formula One anymore, but they say, Why? he's won on one tenth of a second <laughs> pole position. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense that God is one. Yeah, because you can't say, yeah, he is all powerful, but he's all powerful too. He is the first, but he's also the first. Basically, you're dismantling some religions. I think Hindus believe in multiple gods. Hindus believe, yeah, in multiple, yeah, Sikhs, thousands, yeah. Sikhs as well. Am I, I don't know. Do Sikhs believe in multiple gods? I'm not sure. Possibly they, I, I don't want to attribute anything to Sikhism, but I think certain beliefs that they have with Guru Nanak, uh, you know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, yeah. I'm speculating. Yeah, yeah. But the thing, Shane, is at the moment, the thing is, what you have to understand, we're all products of our society. Yeah. Of course, Media, yeah, yeah. Uh, misconceptions, people's stories do affect us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we do understand that there is a narrative, and the narrative nowadays is not pro pro faith, pro pro religion. It's more, it's more in their favour the powers that be to yeah. keep us consuming to not keep us thinking about our purpose because if we start thinking that we are not defined by what we are purchasing yeah then uh, they don't make their money so they have to make you think shane that you're 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 not good looking 
you're not handsome because you're then going to go and buy extra grooming product. They have to tell you that you 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 don't have a six pack, and these women they like the six pack. Yeah, so you're going there doing the stomach crunches, and as yeah, yeah. as it's obvious, I, I I've been uh, slipping on the stomach oh. crunches. <laughs> yeah, I've got the one pack. I yeah. just need to get five more. Yeah. <laughs> getting there one by one. Yeah. So the thing, Shane, is that's why I'm not dealing with the religion at the moment. I'm just getting you to think rationally how we can arrive at the conclusion that there is a creator and the creator has to be one. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Shane, it makes sense that that creator, after he's created us. It makes sense that he then sends an instruction manual. For yeah. example, I don't know about you, but anytime I buy like a shelf from IKEA, I have to sit there and get my uh, thinking cap on and start looking at the pictures. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Now imagine if I didn't have that instruction manual, I'd I'd have a shelf that normally should be here, but my shelf would probably be here. You got one compartment there, one compartment there, one compartment dangling over there. Yeah, be all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Now, if I get an instruction manual, I appreciate it. Yeah. Now, if IKEA go, you know what? Remember, we've seen your videos. Not we appreciate you. you. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to send someone, Shane. Yeah, yeah. We're going to send somebody that's going to help you understand that instruction manual. Yeah. You'd appreciate it. So what, what the theistic religions believe, uh, Shane, is God then sent instruction manuals yeah. and then sent prophets to explain those instruction manuals yep, yep. yeah so prophets came uh, after the the books to explain the books yep. and that's rationally shane how you can understand that there is a god number one that there is one god number two number three rationally makes sense that there is scripture that that god sends for us to understand yeah. number four it follows therefore that there are prophets that have been sent yeah and then I, now, I know you want to say something now everything you're saying I don't disagree with excellent Shane okay but really I the point of talking to you in particular is because I have a lot of questions and, and concerns maybe let's go for it about Islam, okay, in a respectful way. Of I don't course. want to offend anyone. Shane, it's not about offense. I'm giving you full authority to ask wherever you want. Okay. Oh, the pressure's on, eh? Um. I can, I can assure that these people, they're very friendly bunch here. <laughs> you can see this one's a bit dodgy, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, people that have been following my content know. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, one guy was standing where you're standing. Yeah, yeah. He said, Allah is fail! Allah is fail! And last week, the same guy was saying, Your God is small! This small! Yeah. A few weeks before, somebody said, I think Prophet Muhammad had mental tendon. So I've had it all, Shane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't have to worry about it. I don't want to offend anyone. I don't think these people are going to get offended. But, They're um, just enjoying this conversation. Let's, let's, let's get to the meat and bones. Let's go for yeah? it. I like meat. So and I. as you can see, I have bones as well. <laughs> um, Sharia law. Okay. I, lo I, lo <laughs> law. I love how you said it. Yeah. And then you paused and said, okay. <laughs> to see if it's landed. No problem. Yeah. Sharia law. No. Um, and I know Sharia law is prayer, it's given to charity. There's a lot of good stuff that I respect. What I don't respect is the apostasy law. Now, if Islam was true, you would not need to have that. You would not have to kill someone for leaving Islam. If it's true. I don't know if you agree or disagree with that, but... That's fine. Uh, from, from your knowledge, yeah. is there any other religion that, think, that has the apostasy law? I think Judaism. Or that discuss it? Judaism does. Yeah. Alright. And that's uh, in the Bible. You the agree with Testament. that, yeah? Yeah, it's in the Old Testament. It's actually in Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 6. Yeah. yeah. Ah, so you know it very well. I do, I do. I'm aware of these questions. Okay. Um, no, of course. That's why I came to you. Because yeah, you're yeah, a exactly. known figure, you know your stuff. Well, you know, debatable. So, but <laughs> I'm just here to learn. Yeah, so he's here to learn as well. Yeah. The wasp. Yeah. So, uh, so I just wanted to see, and are you aware that the society that we live in, Yeah. 
it's a liberal society, would you agree with that? It's based upon neoliberalism. Neoliberalism, secular values, yeah, yeah. It's not based upon, it's lost its, I mean, obviously the Christian history of, of this country will always be there, but it's lost some of that, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, agree I with you. Agree. I agree with you. Are you aware that it's even within the liberal framework, yeah. the apostasy law is within the liberal framework as well? Are you aware of this? Are you talking about... I'm talking about the founders like John Stuart Mill, like John Locke, yeah, John Rousseau. All of these individuals, if you, if you study their, their writings, you will see that the apostasy law is compatible even within the liberal framework system. Are you aware of this? Yeah, but then I would then say that's not the perfect interpretation. Like, the British law system is not perfect. Yeah. Whereas Islam and Sharia law should be perfect, right? If, it, if, it's, come, if it's been re uh, revealed to Muhammad, to the Prophet Muhammad... No, no, no. I, I, I see your point, but yeah. at the moment, what I first need to establish, Shane, is yeah. many people come to Islam, obviously not like yourself, you seem like an edu educated individual. People come and they claim that it's just Islam. Apostasy law is just in Islam. No, 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 no. Yeah, but you seem like someone that's a bit more no, nuanced. It's in the, in the Jewish. Yeah, it's it's in the Bible also, and it's even within the liberal framework. Yeah. The the framework that's being pushed upon other countries now yeah, as well. Yeah, that you need to follow this framework as well. By the way, you've abandoned Sharia law or whatever it is. Yeah. But so we we've established that. Now, another thing, Shane, that needs to be understood is you understand. That treason law, yeah. do, do you, can you just summarize what's your understanding of the treason law? Um, would Edward Snowden be an example? Of it? Are you talking about the British system? Or no, just your understanding of treason. Because you do know treason is punishable by, by death, isn't it? It would be betrayal, wouldn't it, of, of your yeah. country? Or what it is, Shane, back in the days the thing is what we what we do is we look at the framework that we have now yeah. and then we try to superimpose it yeah. on the framework of the past right. but the thing shane is that the current state system that we have now is different to the state system that was in the past for example the religion yeah. your religion would be the entire state yeah. so when you're leaving the religion you're leaving the state yeah yeah now the apostasy law a lot of people claim that when you leave that's it it's death but then my question to you shane if that was so true wouldn't we be hearing every other week every other month every other year people being killed because they've left islam Don't you think people would be scared to do it no i i wouldn't say so because look at the amount of muslim in fact i would argue that the that the most populated Muslim country on the planet yeah. is it Indonesia? It's, um, India is yeah. definitely amongst them. Let's just say for argument's sake, India is not a Muslim country. Okay, Indonesia, Malaysia, yeah, Egypt has Coptic Christians there. Yeah, um, Saudi Arabia. Have you ever heard, Shane, of a Muslim country that has killed an apostate in your recollection? Um, have I... Not country, I've heard of groups do it. Which group? ISIS. Are you aware of ISIS here? What, of what they do? Like in terms of who, who ISIS is? Yeah, I know they're created. I know, yeah, no, there's know. not a single Muslim, a credible Muslim yeah. scholar or group that considers ISIS to follow mainstream Islam. That's, but that's just one example. So I'm, yeah, um, I'm saying that if this was sanctioned by Islam, there are countries that claim to follow Islam, isn't it? Like you've got the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. But yeah, if I ask anybody, have you ever heard of somebody killing an apostate? You say no. Why is it in the book then? Why is it part of it? The thing, Shane, is what people what people like to do is it's. It's there as a deterrent. Yeah. yeah. Many of these punishments that that you will possibly have in your mind, yeah. they are deterrents. Yeah. Now, if deterrents aren't there, I'll tell you what's going to happen, Shane. If people leave from the MI6, yeah. Yeah. For example, Catherine Gunn, 
when she revealed what America was planning to do yeah, yeah. with the UN with regards to the Iraq Iraq war yeah, yeah. it's game over for her it's game over for her yeah. yeah we look at Gary Webb when he exposed what the CIA was doing in Nicaragua it was a problem he had a mysterious death Edward Snowden you quoted yeah so the thing the thing Shane what I'm saying is look we're, we're not going to hear, we're, we're not standing here with sugarcoating. That anyone can come in and uh, claim to believe and then leave and then start hurting the Muslims. Yeah. yeah? There needs to be a consequence. Yeah, yeah. That Shane, if somebody comes and I'm telling you every country, yeah, yeah. if you work in the secret service, you work within the higher echelons of the politics, yeah? yeah? And then you go and you start causing problems for that country i'm telling you there will be a consequence now yeah. now the point to consider here is you're saying death yeah yeah but that's the thing that's not the jumhur opinion yeah you don't just what's the jumhur means that's not the consensus oh, opinion okay. Okay. now you see oh somebody's left the religion that's it <laughs> 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 It doesn't work like that. Yeah. Yeah. There, there, there is a court, just like you said Sharia. Yeah, yeah. There is a Sharia court. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sharia for the Tajweed the inspectors watching. The yeah. Sharia court. Yeah. And in that court, yeah. there is there is a system. Yeah? yeah. There is there is criteria that you need to follow. Yeah. It's not as simple as that, my friend. You know what I'm saying? And in some and and in most cases, they they will not get death. But the okay. thing is, this is called selective outrage, where a person takes one thing. Yeah. And then they make it seem like that is representative of the faith. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Do you see, Shane? Because otherwise, I'm going to be honest, you're going to get loads of people yeah, that are coming in, wreaking havoc, then leaving, and then just doing mad stuff and causing pain. And the Islamic State, not the Islamic State group. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But back in the days, the, the Islamic State, yeah. it composed of Muslims, yeah. Christians, Jews and people of other faiths. Yeah. So if you then leave and you cause even issues for Christians and Jews, yeah. no, it's yeah. not just Muslims. Do you see, Shane? No, no. I, so logically, like I say, I'm here to ask. No, no, no. That's absolutely learn. fine. So I might have some misconceptions. But you're satisfied with that, yeah? Yeah. I mean, okay. I, what's yeah, your What's I'm your next? Um, there's so many, man. Because there's so Go many for people. It. Go for it. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> um, I would love to learn more about... Um, ah, why is there so many ex-Muslims that hate Islam? And, and literally their whole mission is to, to convey people to stay away from Islam. Very good. Okay. For that, you need to understand somewhat the geopolitics, yeah? Okay. And if you look at the geopolitics, Shane, you will realize in every society there has been a scapegoat. Okay. Yeah? Now, there's, there's a really good book. Um, I know the color is a black and red book. Uh, it's called The Islamophobia Industry yeah. Yeah? by Nathan something. Okay. Yeah? So what, what he says is, previously, in fact, there's a, there's a book called Killing Hope by William Bloom. Yeah, and in this book, he compiles 50 countries that yeah. since, since World War II, the United States has interfered in. Yeah, yeah. 50 countries, okay. and it's a catalogue. And most of them, they, the premise yeah. for that issue to make the masses accept that is communism. Okay. Yeah? So the point that I'm trying to say, Shane, is previously it was communism. Yeah. Yeah, before that it was the blacks, before that it was the Jews, before that it was the Bavarian Illuminati, not the Illuminati that people yeah, are going to yeah. say, Br brother believes in the Illuminati. Yeah, 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 not that Illuminati. This was an actual group yeah. called the Bavarian Illuminati. Yeah, um, so there's, there's always been scapegoats. Now it makes sense for people to exploit the current scapegoat, for example. Do you know that since 9-11, 75% of the extremist attacks have been done by far-right extremists? Did you know this? Search it up. His name is Chris Hunter. Yeah? Chris Hunter 
uh, used to work in the government. He doesn't anymore. Now he's a te uh, terrorism an an analyst. Yeah. He's a terrorism uh, analyst. So 75%. Now I ask you, Shane, the news coverage doesn't reflect the amount of extremists. I mean, I, I would have to verify what you just said. Yeah. But if that is true, then I don't know. There's obviously a, a narrative. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that, that's, that's a good rational answer. There is a narrative. Yeah? yeah. In fact, there's an article you can find on RT where even the Russians, yeah, they are using uh, Islamophobia to create destabilization in here East. in the in the West as oh, well. In yeah? The West, okay. yeah, in the West because there's that whole Russia versus the West. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and the thing is, even even if we look at the way Islam is portrayed in the media, we know there is some sort of narrative, yeah? yeah it's very now, negative. Yeah. yeah. Now, would you say, because even in the park, there's been many people that have accepted Islam, yeah? Some people from Christian backgrounds. What happens, Shane, is I, I hear very little people that go around proclaiming, I'm an ex-Christian, I'm an ex-Christian, yeah? Or I'm an ex-Jew, I'm an ex-Jew. But naturally, they are uncomfortable with their faith. No, he's, he's, they have certain emotional problems with the faith, but when they leave, I'm sure. I'm sure if you were to ask, if I was to ask a lot of them, just my opinion, I'm yeah, sure yeah. they would still say, "I don't hate Christianity. I don't hate you. Uh, you know the Jewish faith. I don't hate the Hindu faith." Whereas I've seen a lot of. Ex I, I would disagree with that, Shane, okay. I, because I've come across people because. I hate it. Yeah, they hate it. Yeah, because think about it, Shane. If, if you're like a lot of people that leave Christianity that I've come across, they say, oh, the con concept of God, God didn't give me this. He took my wife away from me. He, he took this away. I hate God. I hate God. Yeah? yeah. But the thing is, there's no profit to be made from uh, ex-Christians. There's more profit to be made from ex-Muslims. If you actually look at where they're getting their funding from, yeah. Yeah, the ex-Muslims of, of Canada, the ex-Muslims of so-and-so, yeah, they, they're forming even the Quillian Foundation. Yeah, the Quillian Foundation that was receiving it's, heavy it's funds. The Quillian Foundation, aren't they, they still classify themselves as Muslim, don't they? No, because, no. no. Reason being, because especially Majid Nawaz, who's, who's like the main figurehead. But he of, claims to be a Muslim. He claims to be. But, like, for example, Shane, if I claim to be a vegan, yeah, and I'm here and I'm like, you're Shane, I've got beef bag and hello mate. Veganism, yeah. It's well important. And then every every two minutes I'm sliding the meat back into the burger because it's it's just it's just leaking out. You're gonna think, what sort of vegan is this guy? Yeah, are you a vegan? No 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 Shane, you gotta trust me mate. I'm yeah. a vegan mate. Yeah. You gotta try this really good mate. <laughs> You're gonna think this guy's a nutcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, when you, yeah. yeah, so when you look at the fundamentals of Islam, yeah, yeah. There's certain things that are absolute fundamentals. Yeah. yeah? And a person is willy-nilly de denying the fundamentals of the faith and then claims, yeah, yeah, I'm a Muslim. No one in their right mind is going to take them seriously. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you look on the grassroots level, you don't get grassroots organizations even accepting Quillian. No mosque even invites them. There must be something wrong then. Okay. Because they're de denying fundamental verses of the Quran. Do you see? Yeah. So the point that I'm trying to say is, these ex-Muslims, like I've I've spoken to some ex-Muslims, they they're like they they would be as forthcoming as yourself. They say, look, we don't agree, blah blah blah. We're just getting on with our life. Yeah. However, people that ex-Muslims, they don't work. They they're with other ex-Muslims and they're regularly making videos. Oh, I'm sorry, how are you not working yeah. and able to make these videos? high-end quality, latest camera and all this equipment, like, I'm sorry, one at yeah. one is two. Yeah. Can't be a potato. I mean, I do agree. There is a lot of, let's be honest, there is a lot of hatred towards Islam. Not just from the rest of, like, from a lot of different faiths and people, there's a lot of hatred. So I understand there's a lot of bias. And that's why I... And, and one thing, sorry, Shane, yeah, I think this, this, this adds to your point as well. You know, uh, last uh, about a week week ago yeah. there was a terrorist attack in this country yeah um, you probably didn't hear of it no, I didn't. because it was uh, a, a white man yeah uh, and this this white man 
he went on a rampage. Yeah, there was a mass oh, shooting. Sorry, you're talking about Plymouth. Yeah, yeah, Plymouth. Yeah, Plymouth. sorry. It's yeah, because yeah. I said terrorist, and that's why you're like, it can't be, it can't be yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I won't lie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because that's that's how it is, and this actually yeah. proves my point. Yeah. That when these things happen, labeling is very important. The Plymouth shooter. Yeah, he was a terrorist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, was, but yeah. they didn't they didn't call him that. No, and it was, it's the main. It's the biggest mass shooting that's taken place in this country. None of the mainstream the, media actually used the word terrorist. Yeah. They should have. In, yeah. in the last 15 years, yeah. it's the first mass shooting that's taken place in this country. Yeah. Dylan Roof, he went into a church. And of, killed of, a lot yeah. Of, yeah. No, he was in a black yeah. church. He, cli he killed black Christians. And you know what to happened? Start a race no, no, yeah. but do you know what happened when he was on his way to the. To the police station. They say that said that Burger. he had mental health and stuff like that, right? No, no, no. no. Burger, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burger, he said, he said, you know, if I go to a policeman, I, I wouldn't. You know, the plot's there. You know, yeah. I'm a law-abiding citizen. That's uh, a good movie, that. <laughs> you know, I'm saying, I'm unarmed. Yeah, yeah I'm unarmed. Um, so me, if I, if something happens yeah. and I go with them, yeah. they take me for questioning. Yeah. Yeah, and then I say, you know what, plot? Yeah. I'm quite hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fancy be a Burger King. Yeah, no, it's a fist fight, yeah. He, yeah, he say, shut your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and some police officers, they're a bit potty mouth as well. Yeah, yeah. Shut the F up. No, yeah? I, I agree. But I agree. Dylan Roof got Burger King. He just done a mass shooting. I didn't know that. I didn't actually know that. Yeah, yeah. Done. Yeah, on, on the way. Oh, really? He, yeah. sto he, he, stops, he stops for a burger. And you know the New Zealand? Yeah, the New Zealand terrorist who Muslims, killed, yeah. yeah, who killed the Muslims. Front page of the Daily Mirror, or one of these tabloids. There was a word that is is etched into my psyche. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, he likes me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's etched. They call him angelic. This was on the front cover. Angelic. Angelic. The That's word. A, a term of endearment, isn't it? It's a term yeah. of endearment. And in the metro, this was uh, about a year ago. I remember yeah. because I screenshotted this. Would you say any baby? is capable of extremism any what sorry? any baby no. No. no but front page of the metro jihadi baby no it's it's, it's wrong it's wrong I you know what i'm saying yeah. but point that i'm trying to say is when it comes to terrorism it's selectively yeah. it's selectively used yeah no, but, like yeah, yeah. with the plymouth shooter mm. it wasn't mentioned last year there were four terrorist attacks in the united states in one day four wasn't reported. I told you since 9-11, 75% of the attacks have been far right. Donald Trump didn't even acknowledge that there's, there's such thing as far right extremism. He didn't yeah, even acknowledge. Yeah, because he was talking about um, the group that was, um, the, what they called the, that group that follows him, the bully. No, okay, no. Sorry, what was this thing? Yeah, so, but anyway, yeah, yeah, he has a, a very strong Christian um, whole base that he goes to evangelicals yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, evangelicals yeah, yeah. but what I'm trying to say my friend is terrorism like many things have happened because I cover these stories yeah. whenever it's done by a person not of color yeah the word terrorism is missing this is stabbing I would never equate Islam with terrorism that's but very like good and no, very honest of, of you I would never because it's, it's wrong to do that but there's like I say there's still things that I need to get a better understanding. Of course, of. that's what we're discussing. Yeah, yeah. Because there's still things that, you know, doesn't sound right. Go for to it. How I, how I see morality. Go for it. Okay. So uh, you've explained things very well. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's, I didn't expect to speak to so many people. So I've sort of lost my train of thought. No problem. The, the crowd has huffed. It has. Um, I take full responsibility. <laughs> yeah, no, they're here for you. Um, oh, That's actually an insult. No. So the crowd's half. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, because you're popular. Um, I mean, I have so many friends. But I Is it the, the hijab? Do you have no, an issue I have with no the hijab? Issue with the hijab. I have an issue with the niqab, but not the hijab. I think for me. You know, it's, it's ironic because you're wearing a niqab. I know, I know, but it's only because I don't want it. Only because of the cameras. But my friend, the sisters wear the niqab because of the brothers. Yeah, but you wear it because of these brothers, they wear it because of those brothers. Uh, I don't know, I just... For me and the niqab, 
the hijab I have no issue with. In fact, I think it's beautiful because it's a sign of modesty. Even and in this woman doesn't get forced. It's beautiful. I can't say. I can't sort of disagree with. A Shane, woman even in this hijab. country, you got this guy over here. He's from Manchester. In yeah. Manchester, 1901. <laughs> Chelsea. Nine, 1901 yeah, yeah. in Manchester yeah. there's this footage that, that that came out it was on channel 5 yeah. they've colored it now yeah, before yeah. it was black and white now it's in color it was British women in Manchester going around with hijabs on yeah yeah you know what I'm saying so the thing with niqab is Shane would you agree yeah. that a woman that doesn't want to show her face has the right to do so in a secular society, yes, I believe that you should have the choice. But would I necessarily agree with that choice? But it doesn't matter to the individual, obviously. I'm a nobody. But I don't know. I, 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 I see it. I don't know. It's, it's hard to describe. I but think don't... about it. I, I would personally say I see it oppressive when I see a woman at a beach in a bikini. Not that, not that I do that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just just in case. <laughs> ABC, no, don't make a clip out of that, yeah. yeah. So, the, I, I would say, in fact, I think Norman Finkelstein had this uh, post. I haven't referenced it, but it does seem logical sense. Yeah. He said when the Europeans went to America, they saw that the natives were naked and they were clothed. Yeah. And they said, we are there to civilize you. Look at these naked people, we're here to civilize you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah. they they seemed that as a form of oppression. Yeah. Yeah, so I also see, for example, in the Daily Mirror, this was again, uh, I'll say about a couple of months ago, there was a, I think about 12 or 13 year old girl yeah. who wanted to wear a skirt. Yeah, because in secondary schools you have to wear a skirt. Sorry. Yeah, now they wanted it up to hair, she wanted to wear it up to hair. The school took her and the family to court. I don't know that. I would say this is oppression. Mm. Yeah, I would say this I'm is a, oppression. I'm agree with that. In France, in the they beaches. Banned it. They banned the, no, the no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you something else. Yeah. You know what? In, in France, the burkini is banned. Yeah. So the burkini is like swimwear, but it covers the whole body. Yeah. yeah. Now, a woman was wearing a burkini, and this picture went viral yeah, yeah, yeah. of two French officers armed. Going to her, oh, and saying, telling her to take it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I heard she that. was forced at gunpoint, Shane, to strip. Yeah, this is pretty much what's happening. Do you see? So if women, and I'm telling you, Shane, because Islam number one is the fastest growing religion, especially here in the West. That's number one, and number two, the adherents to Islam are women, and most British women, when they enter Islam, they choose to put on the niqab. And I'll tell you why, Shane. Is because, in fact, you know Kira Knightley, the she was actress. the actress, yeah, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah? yeah. So there's an article in the Guardian where she goes, I don't know of a single actress that has not been sexually harassed. She says it's normal for us now yeah. when we're going to be sexually harassed. Wrong, isn't it? Now the thing, Shane, is because society has become so sexualized. You have some people who don't want to show themselves. They're like, why, why should I be judged by, by my face or by this? So the point that I'm trying to come to, Shane, is this. If somebody wants to do that... I agree. Yeah. I agree. If you want to wear the niqab, I, I personally have no issue with it. There you go. And I think in, if France is not my country, if the French want to ban it, it's up to them. It's not my society, right? That's absolutely fine. But. I believe in this country, it should be allowed. Of course. I, I, if you want to wear the niqab, and if, if you want to cover your whole face, no your whole problem. body, no, no problem. problem. As long as you're not getting forced to do it. That's Let's move caveat. on to the next point. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Um, I mean, Ian Pork. No. That's, Alcohol. That's individual. No. no. Cigarettes. No. Praying five times a day. No. Respect of parents. No. Respect <laughs> of <laughs> elders. No. Looking after society. No, no, like I say, I don't want to ask these questions in a negative way. No, no, look, Shane, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah? That's there's... why I came to you, because you're popular. <laughs> there's, there's not a single day. <laughs> there's not a single day that I wake up and I don't see it's someone. Just, 
And so in me, guess, my family, my no, channel, it's my it's dignity, I'm, I'm desensitized One of my con contentions, and it probably hurts you more, is there's so many groups that claim to be Muslim that do so many bad things in the name of your religion, and it's just such a bad image. Okay, so I'm detecting... And that probably hurts you more than it hurts me. I'm, I'm detecting... It is, it is. I'm detecting from you, when you say groups, am I correct to assume that you mean ISIS, yeah? Not just ISIS. But uh, is that something that plays on your mind? They are the biggest reason group. Um, Al-Qaeda, Al Al-Shabaab, uh, what's the group in Nigeria, Boko Haram. I don't know too much about Hamas to form an opinion on that. And uh, again, the Taliban in Afghanistan, I don't have enough. I'm very impressed with your knowledge of, of these so-called terrorist groups. Yeah. Are you aware of the 969? Are you aware of the Sangis or the Hindutva? No. Okay, I'm so they're good. No, no, so 969 yeah. are the extremist group in Myanmar. They are the ones that are committing atrocities in the name of Buddhism okay. to, to our Burmese uh, yeah. brethren and, and sisters as well. The Hindutva, this is on a daily basis, my friend. Yeah. If you search, if you go home and you search Hindutva crimes in India, literally, there are people that are told on, on the street, yeah, if they find out that you're a Muslim on the street, they will say, you need to now proclaim Jai Shri Ram. That means, uh, Jai means long live their God, Ram. Yeah? Okay. So going to people and then if they refuse to, beating them in front of the public. And these videos, they're viral, they, they go viral. Yeah? And this is, I'm telling you, I follow and I would suggest you follow him on Twitter as well. It's CJ Worldman. He's an Australian uh, journalist. CJ, CJ World, W E R L E M A N. CJ okay. Worldman. He's a bit more balanced in terms of the atrocities that he shows. Exactly, exactly. So 969, unaware of. Yeah. Uh, Hindutva or the Sangis. Yeah. And you know what? I should know about these groups. No, but what I'm trying to say. No, but what I'm going to say, Shane, is I don't blame you because the mainstream media, it's if you look at the interests and the funding, for example, Sky, yeah, Sky and um, yeah, not, not CNN, Fox, yeah, um, I, I think Washington Post, or uh, I'm not sure about Washington Post, but that's called the Murdoch Empire, yeah, 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 and Murdoch himself. Is, he's an open Islamophobe, yeah? yeah. Look at his tweets, he's uh, openly. Yeah, yeah, so the point yeah. that I'm trying to say is, if you look at where the funding's coming from, yeah? From anti-Islamic. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah? So we've got the 969, we've got the Hindutva, yeah? <laughs> there was another group, and uh, this was when I was doing these uh, these uh, Palestinian videos as well. There's, there's, a, there's a group even within the Israeli Knesset, yeah? And these, it's a very hard line, a Zionist group, which has now got, got mainstream um, acceptance in, in <laughs> main, mainstream acceptance uh, even even within Israel. The thing, the, the thing, Shane is because you're a receptive individual, yeah, and things, and you're getting your answers. Sometimes that's the only way for these people to to distract. I honestly believe. This is this is what the, some some people have to yeah. come and destroy, yeah. But we, we 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 will continue. Are you are you aware of the Lord's resistance resistance army? In, is, is that in Africa? Uh, that's yes. That's in, yeah. But the thing is, they're not reported. For example, were you aware yeah. about two two weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. In India, there were mass gatherings where they were calling for the death of Muslims, yeah, open, in Israel. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Just, sorry, one second. No problem, no problem. So, point that I'm trying to say, Shane, is there's many of these groups that don't get media coverage. Why? Because it doesn't meet the interests of the media. For example, you know this whole uh, Israel-Palestine issue that was going on. 
when it came to Palestinians, when it came to Israelis, yeah. they say they have been killed. Yeah. But when, when it came to Palestinians, so, oh, they've died. Yeah, it's, it's now, if, you, if you look, somebody who's died, yeah. it's like in a passive way. Oh yeah, he's, he's just died. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Killed is more aggressive. Yeah. yeah, so language. Language I is saw, very... I think I saw your video. Oh, you did? Uh, you and Ali had a fan and... We did. You we were, did. Yes. Yeah, I... Yeah, it's, 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 yeah I, I can't dispute that. Yeah. So Shane... The language does play a role yeah, in... It does, Shane. Yeah, it does. And, and the thing is, Shane, if you look into this India thing, yeah? Yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot of madness going on in India. I saw a documentary, actually. It was oh. in... Um, Vice probably, isn't it? It might have been, where... Or Showtime. It was talking about um, Muslim businesses getting burnt and destroyed. I forgot the reason why, yeah. but I saw a documentary on that. Is that what you're talking about? That's getting, also happening. Yeah. That's all. That's that's definitely happening. Are you aware of the concentration camps in, in China as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the Uyghur. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people pronounce it Uyghur. 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 I just go with Uyghur. Yeah, yeah because that's what, that's what people there's, are there's familiar Muslims, with. And not just Muslims. There are some Christians that are of being course. put in these camps as well. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of injustice. What I'm trying to highlight, Shane, is when when you look at news, you have to be. And it's very difficult for you to be balanced because BBC they're, they're unbalanced. Like the way they claim to be very nuanced, yeah. but the media war, I would say, on it's, Jeremy Corbyn yeah. was absolutely preposterous. Yeah, even if a person doesn't agree with Jeremy Corbyn, yeah, at least give the guy, you know, proper coverage. Yeah, I mean. I'm in terms of Jeremy Corbyn, in terms of his, his morals, there's some things I might not dis uh, agree with him. Um, I'm not a political person, but I could understand that he's a good person at his core. You know, and he, he doesn't, he wants the best for everyone. So, uh, in terms of that, yeah, there is a lot of media interpretation of him being a, a supporter of terrorism and this and that so yeah i i get your point i do get your point on that. uh and just just a correction it's just entered my mind the 75 percent that i said yeah it was actually a report that was submitted to congress oh, okay. yeah and this was by um organization uh forgotten the, the organization but you can search it up yeah yeah the 75 percent stat is is pretty standard yeah yeah but the um the other one that i was referring to the british guy uh who's a ter terrorism analyst there his stat was that you are more likely in fact the chance of you dying in a terrorist attack yeah. is one in sixteen thousand. you're more likely to die you're, in fact, you're a hundred thousand times more likely to die in a car accident than you are in a terrorist attack. Yeah. But the way the media it makes it, it, it makes yeah. it seem worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get you. I mean, I, I you, you pretty I'm, much covered like the main kind of I contention. Mean, my last, my last, because I have to head off. No, no, that's uh, my last question is, is uh, Jabi, Jabi, have you got Quran? Have you got a Quran? Alright, no. Does anyone have a spare Quran? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, normally Ali is here with the table and he normally has one. Sorry. Alright. Um, so, Shane, my gift to you is virtual Quran. <laughs> so, this virtual Quran. I, I have actually got a Quran, but I, I mean, my. The thing, Shane, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I've got a physical copy. Um, Take your eyes, here's, here's, here's one thing that yeah. I, I really want you to kind of do the dubber on, yeah? Just, just to focus on. Islam is the only religion that's constantly in the eyes and on the tongues of people. There must be a reason, yeah? There must be a reason why Islam is relevant. There must be a reason why people keep uh, looking to Islam questioning about Islam, why Islam is relevant, 
Yeah. When it comes to other faiths like Christians, when it comes to the Council of Nicaea, when it comes to different versions of the Bible, when it comes to the Quran, you look at any manuscript. Yeah, from Sana'a. Yeah, the the one in the British Library, the one in your in your homes now. You go to Somalia, you go to Japan. Yeah, you pick up any copy of the Quran, it will be identical. Yeah, yeah. However, you go to Japan, you look at one copy of the Bible, King James Version, yeah, yeah. you come here, Newton, it's going to be different. The Quran, my friend, is one. When you look at the Prophet, peace be upon him, why is that Muslim when he gets up at the start of the day? Yeah, Islam teaches us how to clean ourselves in the toilet. It teaches us the ritual ablution to, to cut our nails, to wash our hands, yeah, so how to greet. Yeah, to not, not to say, oof, not to even say, uh, a, 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 even a sigh of frustration to our parent. If think about it, Shane, even when it comes to small things like this, why would Islam need to tell us to clean, clean yourself using yeah, tissue yeah. and water in the toilet? Yeah. Respect your parents. Yeah. yeah? Keep your mother. There's a lot of good moral things. Yeah. I totally agree with, with that. My last question I have for you is why do no Muslim countries as of today, and maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, but why do no Muslim countries implement the Sharia as of today? Very good. Okay, so the last empire, Islamic empire, that was known was the Ottoman Empire. Are you aware of the Ottoman yeah, Empire? Yeah they, yeah, they ruled for a long time. They did. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it was a large caliphate, right? It was a very large very caliphate, large correct. Caliphate, yeah. So there was Sharia there, yeah? yeah? But the thing is, it's after the Ottoman Empire, the fall of the Ottoman Empire, there's something, and I want you to search this when you go home. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I would search, I would recommend everybody listening to search this as well. It's called the Sykes-Pico Treaty, yeah? Sykes-Pico, S-Y-K-E-S, -E okay. and Pico, P-I-K-O-T, okay. yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. Sykes Pico, what they did to the Ottoman Empire was literally they divided it up. They divided it up. So they said, yeah, so you say, uh, Russia, you take this, we'll take this, we'll take that, you take this. So carving up, and then that's what they did. So Palestine fell within the jurisdiction of the United Kingdom, and then they gave it away which it wasn't theirs to give away and that's why you have issues there till today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? So, after Sykes-Pico, what's happened is, and again, I'm referencing that book called Killing Hope. Killing Hope. Killing Hope by William Bloom, B-L-U-M. I'll, I'll have to search that because that would be quite interesting to read. This, this, after, just search up when you go home, smile to Jannah and in Speaker's Corner and this video should be up, our discussion. So search it and these names that I'm saying, you can just go back and okay. just, just and check them again. Yeah, yeah, because everything that I've said, mate, I'm not just saying it to play to the crowd. There's only no, like no, seven no. people Look, there. I came to you because you're genuine and I like your content on I appreciate YouTube. It. And I, I have maybe some misconceptions that I want to learn more about just to understand. Absolutely. Because I might have some bias from media. Like you said, like there's a lot of words and a lot of things that the media does. But just, just I mean, to just to do this point, just to, before it slips my mind. So William Bloom, in his book, like I said, since World War II, he's compiled 50 nations, yeah, 50 countries that the United States has endeavoured yeah. to interfere with. But of those 50, 30 are democratic countries that America has interfered in, yeah, wow. yeah, and okay. one that we know of today is Iran. Yeah. yeah. In around 1951, it was ruled by somebody called Muhammad Mossadegh, yeah. and it was a democratic country. Yeah. But because he wanted to nationalize oil, yeah. that then was an issue for the British and the Americans. Yeah. yeah. That's why they overthrew him and then installed him with the Shah. And then afterwards, the Ayatollahs came in. Ever since then, it's been dest destabilized. Yeah. yeah. But the point, that I'm trying to say is this, it's Sharia is not within the interests of the West. Yeah, because if Sharia is implemented, then it's going to cause issues. Yeah, so what they do is, there's, they do, I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. And this, and I want you to bear this in mind. Yeah, what happened Shane was, um, uh, the main kind of oil dealer back in the days was Saudi. Yeah, and back in the days when the, the dollar wasn't that strong, 
what they did was when Saudi had an issue with yep. what's going on with Israel Palestine yep. they started fiddling with the dollar rate of yeah. petrol and okay. when they fiddled with that the whole of America came to a standstill oil is what's powering our planet America came to a standstill and then you need to read a very good book it's, it's called Secret Affairs by Mark Curtis a lot of books to read eh? and I'm in there and I'm in there he goes that after that the, the Brits and the West goes you know what we need to make sure this never happens again yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah and yeah. that's when they had a very strong bond with the with, with the Saudis yeah. and that's where Saudis backed the oil with the dollar and that's how we had the petrol dollar yeah. and even in Afghanistan yeah it's very it's a very significant place there yeah. Iraq as the, I would say Venezuela Iraq Saudi these are on the top five of the largest oil and reserves on the planet. To these countries today? So it's it's look even within India as well. Yeah. Yeah. India was ruled for 200 years. Wow. And if you <laughs> read another book called In *Inglorious Empire* by Shashi Tharoor, yeah. And Very well first, aren't you? <laughs> so I have to be because yeah. if I'm here no, telling no, you, yeah, yeah. telling you, that, look, Islam is the way. You, I have have to, be, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, like I'm not here gassing. Like I'm telling you. Like and there are a lot of people that do in this part but yeah no I agree yeah. With you. Yeah, so yeah. Shashi Tharoor will tell you some of the vile acts that the British did yeah. in India like even with the people that were very good at textile yeah, yeah? and to stop them from you know sewing and, and, and creating the stuff needed they'll cut yes. off their thumbs yes. the Kukui tribe of Kenya they would put their uh, scrotum in a vice and squish it yeah they took they, they took the empire to court this was again you can search this up as a telegraph they took them to court yeah these, these things have happened and when the yeah. british they left india after 200 years yeah. yeah as the people were celebrating you could see a column of smoke yeah, yeah. and that column of smoke was them burning the colonialization documents yeah. yeah and even now we have nine million documents and they're stored in a shared facility with the with, with mi6 or mi5 up north near yeah. derbyshire okay yeah? So you can search stuff, it's on The Guardian as well. It's yeah. written by, I think, Ian, Ian Cobain. He's very good when it comes to this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So the point, so did that, did that answer your... Yeah, I mean... And, and you know what? It doesn't make sense. To, like, I, what you're saying, I, I, can, I can agree with, but it just, why... I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. And, I, and I'll summarize it with this. History is written by the victors. Yeah, history is written by the victors. And Winston Churchill said, I don't care what they say about me. Because we're going to be writing the history books. And I saw that article, it's an opinion piece, again by Shashi Tharoor, it's in The Guardian. You can search this up. Yeah, in that same article, he was saying, you know about the, uh, the, the Afghans, the very Afghans now? You know what's yeah. going on in Afghanistan, yeah? So with, with the Afghans, he said, and this again is in the same article, he said these Afghans, they, they need to know about the, they need to respect the white man. They need to know and respect the white man. Yeah, but that's, you're not going to hear that in the narrative that CNN is saying. The point that I'm trying to say, look Shane, is you're not living, you're not living in the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, you're living in, in a Western neoliberalized post-industrial revolutionized yeah. empire and it's this empire that is is right in the history books they're the ones that are controlling the narrative before, yeah. yeah no i agree before i go can i just ask you uh, and shane if you want to ask me any stuff even on camera you're more than welcome to do so yeah you can take my details as well yeah sorry i just i want to um, what was I going to say? Um, I've heard a few Muslims say that the UK is one of the best countries in the world to be a Muslim. Would you agree with that? I would, yeah. yeah. I'm born and bred. Yeah, no, born, bred, margarine, jam. No, of course, of course. <laughs> but there's a lot of people born and bred here that don't like this country for whatever reason. And, and I would say they have a right to do so. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, uh, when you say like the country, yeah. like I, I love living in the country, I love the people. Yes, there are certain things that like, I'm not going to say I love that guy uh, Who is that? Shouting. Oh, is that Piers Corbyn? 
Pierce. Yeah, Jeremy Corbyn's brother. Brother, yeah, Pierce. Yeah. Anti-vaxxer, yeah. That's yeah. it, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So, you would say this is one of the best countries? No, to, to be honest, I've been to many other countries. Mm. I love it here. Yeah. I love it here. I love the people here. Uh, but the thing is, I love it here. That's why I speak out when I need to speak out. Okay. I'll, I'll call Boris Johnson a clown. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll say Bojo the clown. At times. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? You'll agree with me. Most of the country will agree with me. He's a, he's a clown. Yeah? Uh, when What Prevent is doing to young kids that are, that they, they say cucumber and then they, they get shipped off to Prevent because they, the teacher thinks that he's talking about Coca Bomber. Yeah? Or shifting a kid to Prevent yeah, because he's a bit, playing a, a Fortnite game. Isn't it? Yeah, so I, I will speak against Prevent. I will speak about these things. But. When it comes to the country and the people of the country, of course, I wouldn't be here otherwise, to be honest. No, fair enough. I have, I have, and, and you know what? I, I'm yet to come across somebody that says, you know, I hate this country. I don't know why I'm here. Like, we're, we're living in a country, you got, we got a British passport, you can, you can do what you want. Oh, yeah. But yeah, constructively, yeah. if you've got an issue, I say, you come to Speaker's Corner. Yeah. You, give your, you give your views. Yeah. And then if you come across someone rational like Shane, you'll have an excellent conversation. Oh, thank you. No, honestly, Shane. I wish, and you know what? I'm glad you stayed, and I'm glad that cameras have captured this because, Shane, this this is the way. You're you're rational at the start. You were a bit wobbly, but then, when it came to rationality, when it came to common sense, you took it on board, and you were like, you know what? Let me hear him out. You know what? He is making sense. And you know what, Shane? And I and I say this to the other people. The vast amount of Muslims are approachable. Yeah. yeah? If you have your neighbours, you have people that you go with to your schools or whatnot, I encourage you to dialogue with them. And that's why, like I say, I wanted to clarify yeah. some things with, with someone that I like because I follow your channel. I've seen a few of your videos. I saw your, I saw your video recently about the Taliban and I thought it was quite interesting and constructive, you know, to, to take a more balanced approach, you know. Um, I saw your video with Ali, with the BBC, video uh, you went to is uh, in is north right. london um embassy gold is green yeah i thought that was that was fair you know i, I don't see an issue with that i thought that was quite quite good thank you um, well, shane like i said i think you were on your phone when i said this yeah even if there's some questions you want to ask off camera yeah you can take my details and then we can speak off camera yeah as well. no, i appreciate that yeah thank you so, so shane, much look after yourself thank you um how do you prefer oh any anyway yeah? yeah. Do, do you use email? I do. Oh, in, the mic off. Huh? You're gonna give me your number. Turn the mics off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Any, right. anyway, uh, WhatsApp, Skype, or, All right. or email. What, it's up to you. Whatever's. In Instagram, DM would be better. Uh, do you have Instagram? I do. Okay. So you have Instagram. Just, just DM me it. on Instagram. Just say blob. You're not gonna blob. see it. Huh? <laughs> you're not gonna see it. It's so much. I am. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now. Because you know what? I think. You yeah, smile. Okay. Smile. Smile. Oh, is it just your YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Why didn't it come up? I guess you have a blue tick, right? I don't know. Oh, what? Not on Instagram. On uh, on YouTube, I do. So what, what to write? Blog? You can write whatever you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was just me. Hello. Just. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. You can <laughs> say that. Yeah. All right. Nice. Thank you for the conversation. I appreciate that. No, my that. pleasure. All right. So that's that's you here. Yeah. I'll put you okay. in general, and I say hello. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I appreciate. And then that. any questions, mate? Because I know even on camera sometimes you're yeah, I mean, wa I, watching your words. But yeah, I, because I I was planning one to one, so I've never been filmed, so it's it's hard for me to get everything that I want to say across because obviously it's a bit ner nerve-wracking to have so many people yeah. on me that's why i wanted to wear them especially these like, brownies no 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 no, <laughs> yeah. no. um I get it, I get it. but yeah no i i really enjoyed it so thank you i appreciate thank that you for the conversation. and uh like i said my friend I'll, i will also pray for you but i i say this to anyone that's sincere mm. yeah there's there's a there's there's a, a pill that you take yeah, yeah. this pill is a met it sounds like the matrix it's a, pill, blue. Yeah. It's, a, it's a metaphorical pill yeah 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 and here's what you do you go home today sean oh, sorry shane 
and you just raise your hands in whichever way you feel comfortable. Yeah? Mm. And I think you've heard this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And you say, Lord, God, whoever you are, wherever you are, guide me. Yeah, guide me to the straight path. Help me reach the path. I, I genuinely want to know. Yeah. I, I, I'm scared of what I've heard, but there's just so much misinformation. Yeah. You can see today I went and I spent 45 minutes, an hour speaking to uh, smile to Jannah. Yeah. yeah. So I've made that effort because Shane, you know what it is, my friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. made the effort. Mm. You know when you're making an effort, Shane? Why would God not listen? You know what I'm saying? You've made the effort. So I, that, this is now what I want you to do. You go home, you say, God, I've made the effort today. I was, I was, I was rational, I was respectful, and there's whatever's going on inside me, I want you to help me. Yeah. And then Shane, I'll be here next week as well. And you have you my, come here my every details. Week now then? Yeah, I'm trying to come every yeah. Sunday. Because yeah. I, you, if I'm not mistaken, like a lot of your videos are from that room, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is on the sofa, yeah. Yeah, um, the sofa. but you're going to come down here more often. I am, I like it here because okay. to be fair, Shane, seeing people like yourself, I think is more of an encouragement for me as well. Okay. Because like, like you've acknowledged, I, I do read and I know my references, course, but the yeah, thing yeah. is, Sometimes all it takes is, is, is the person that's there with an open mind and who yeah. knows, mate. Thank you so much. Yeah? Love, love my Thank bro. you. Yeah. It's really good talking guide to you guys. Thank you. Guide you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Might as well shake everyone's hand. Yeah. Right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you. Do that. Yeah.